So today I'm talking about a P0721 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0721 code? Well, it's an output speed sensor circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, basically transmissions can have a lot of sensors built into them. And one of these sensors is called the output speed sensor which is basically reporting back to the computer the speed of the output shaft as it spins. And for some reason, the computer's seeing a problem with this sensor, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0721 code? Well, the first thing to do whenever you have a transmission problem, really, is go check your transmission fluid. Be sure that it's good and that it's at the correct level, that it's not low or anything like that. Because low transmission fluid can cause issues. It can cause the transmission to do strange things. Some vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. So you may not be able to check the transmission fluid. But if you can, the first thing to do is go check your transmission fluid and be sure that it's not low. The next thing that could cause this is a bad output speed sensor. It may have just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. These sensors can be located differently. Sometimes they're located on the outside of the transmission, and then sometimes they're located on the inside. If they're located on the outside of the transmission, then it could be fairly straightforward to go check them out and test them and things like this. But if they're located up inside of the transmission, then it's going to be more difficult. You're going to have to drain the fluid. You're going to have to drop the transmission pan, and then you'll be able to get inside of there and work on it and things like this. So the location of that output speed sensor is going to vary. You will need to get a diagram for your particular vehicle to know exactly where it's at. Once you locate that speed sensor, there's some different ways to go about testing it. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can test it that way. You can also test these with a multimeter. And basically to do that, you find out what the rated ohms are for your particular sensor, since there will be differences. But once you find out what the range of ohms is, then you can use a multimeter and you can test it. And if it goes outside of this, then you know it's bad and you know it needs to be replaced. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad output speed sensor. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the speed sensor. If there's any kind of issue with the wiring going to the sensor, like an open, a short, a bad connection, something like this, then that's going to cause problems. Again, you will need to get a diagram or schematics for your particular vehicle to know what's going on inside the wiring. But if you could get a hold of schematics, then you could test the wiring. You could be sure that there's no opens inside of it or anything like this. There's nothing shorting out because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue inside the wiring. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of internal transmission failure. And this is going to be something like a bad solenoid or a bad valve body or something along these lines. Basically, anything that would interrupt that output speed sensor from working, then that's going to cause issues. Usually, if that happens, you're going to get a lot of other codes. So if you are getting a lot of other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of internal transmission failure. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of computer issue, that there's like a problem with the transmission control module or the powertrain control module or something like that. And this isn't too common. Usually when you get a P0721 code, there's going to be some kind of other issue going on. But it does happen sometimes. Sometimes there's some kind of computer problem going on. If you do think it's a bad computer, be sure that your battery is good, that the alternator is charging correctly, and that there's a good ground wire going to the computer modules. Because all these computer modules, they all need a good stable power supply or can throw them off and cause them to do weird things. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0721 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.